Today we're going to talk about the dreaded death wobble, what causes it, and how to fix it. Alright, little backstory. I uh, have a little experience with Death Wobble. Uh, I purchased my Jeep about four years ago, and about a month after I bought it, I was on the freeway doing about 65 miles an hour, starting to climb up a hill. It was a three lane. I was in the right lane behind a couple semis, and I pulled out into the middle lane to pass them. And one of the semis pulled out in front of me, and so I, I hit my brakes, and then I'm death wobbling down the freeway. And then I look beside of me, there's another semi to the left, so I'm in between two semis. At this point, probably about 50 miles an hour, death wobbling. <laughs> and it was enough to scare the poop out of you. You know, I thought I was going to die, hence the name death wobble. How did I fix it? Using the process elimination, and eventually I was able to figure it out. So what causes the death wobble? Well, death wobble is caused by worn out suspension parts, especially the track bar. That's the number one culprit right there. 98% of the time, you get a bad track bar, got a bushing gone bad, the bolt's loose. Something in the track bar is not fastened tightly to have a good strong hold to keep that axle from moving back and forth. So let's take a look under the Jeep and uh, we'll go over some of the things that we need to check. So the very first thing that I would check would be this bolt right here on the track bar. So if that thing comes loose, it will definitely cause death wobble. That's the easiest thing to check first is uh, to make sure that bolt right there is nice and tight. And then up on the other end, now I don't have a stock track bar on my Jeep. Um, this is an aftermarket adjustable track bar, but the concept is the same. There's a frame side and an axle side. Make sure both of those are tight. And if you're continuing to have death wobble, there's more investigation that needs to be done. I think the next step that I would do would be to do a dry steer test to see if there's any worn out components. And what that does is it, it moves the components and you can see if things are wore out. So. This is a two-person job. You'll need to grab a buddy, have them shake the steering wheel back and forth just a little bit lightly, um, like so. You know, make sure the steering wheel is not locked. That's about all you need right there. And what that does is it makes your suspension components move and so you can check you can check your steering your track bar on both ends steering on both ends um, and that is a great start and if your test shows that there is a worn out part that is what you need to fix or replace now if it doesn't then you need to start doing a little bit more investigating. So a good place to check, or a good place to start after you've done your dry steer test and it came out good, your control arms, your upper and your lower control arms are a good place to start. And uh, those bushings go bad and they need to re be replaced. Um, again, I don't have stock, I have adjustable control arms and my joints are fully rebuildable so I can rebuild them which is nice. Um, check your bracketry make sure you don't have any cracks or welds that are broken make sure everything is tight. Um, another thing that can set off a death wobble uh, ball joints. Make sure ball joints are good wheel bearings are good. Those can uh, trigger death wobble. U-joints um, in your axle shafts. 
steering stabilizer is a band-aid fix. Um, it might help, you can replace it, but then it will go bad very quickly and then you'll be back to square one. It's just a band-aid for the problem, it's not going to fix it, it's just going to be treating one of the symptoms. So what if you do a, your dry steer test and it shows that there's movement. So what do you do? Well, if it's a stock track bar, you may have to replace it. The bushings are not replaceable, um, like these aftermarket ones have replaceable bushings. Um, so if you replace it and you're still having death wobble, and you're still having movement in here, that is because the hole is gonna be wallowed out. So it's not gonna be round anymore, like it might be egg shaped and that bolt is moving back and forth so no matter how tight you tighten this thing there's still going to be movement and there's a couple things you can do to fix this one you have access to a welder you can weld uh you can weld a washer onto this and that'll help thicken up that hole or help thicken up the bracket and keep that hole um, the right correct size another thing you can do is to drill it out and make it a bigger hole and run a bigger bolt. Um, I recommend doing that. Uh, both of them actually. I've actually have a washer welded onto my bracket here. Just gives it extra thickness, helps it so it doesn't wallow out as easily. And I believe the <clears throat> the stock bolts, the sh the, sh uh, the shank on the shaft, the shank on the shaft. The, the shaft of the bolt, the diameter, is actually a bit smaller than the threads, the OD on the threads, and so that bolt, just faulty engineering, it will move around a little bit. So I do recommend replacing that if, if you can. So if you're like me, and you go through the checklist, you know, you, you find your track bar's good, your steering's good, your, your uh, dry steering test is turned out positive, it's good, things are good and tight, uh, control arms are good, wheel bearings are good, ball joints are good, caster angle, even that can cause a lot of issues, think about a shopping cart. Um, so you go through the whole list and you're still having death wobble like I did. So what do you do? That's a great question. Well, one day I was climbing underneath my Jeep and I noticed that I had a control arm on the rear end. One of the lock nuts had came loose. So I just grabbed a wrench, tighten that sucker back on, and I have not had death wobble since. So my front end was solid, but my rear end, not so much. That's something that people don't take in consideration, is the rear end of the Jeep. Coil sprung, just like the front, has a track bar, has control arms, has uh, these points of vulnerability where Things can go wrong, can come loose, and start causing death wobble. So for me, you know, I did need to replace all my parts. They were they were going bad, but I was still having death wobble. Hope this helps. Some good tips. Uh, thank you for watching, and let's keep that adventure going.